Phil Guyman, welcome to, to lovely Big Bear, California. We're uh, Big Bear Lake and the whole town kind of village area is at 6,700 feet. Um, I've been coming up here since 2012 for altitude training, for uh, adaptation for some of the big races in the US. So this has been sort of my escape, my, my training base. If I had to get some good work done, uh, I'd always come up to Big Bear. So there's, there's a, some great riding. The Big Bear is mostly known for skiing. Um, and in the summer, there's uh, there's tons of mountain bike trails that's been that's been growing here, and there's also uh, a great road biking community and and a lot of good options to to ride your road bike. And there's five or six amazing rides that I highly recommend. So when when the scientists and the and the bike nerds and the coaches talk about altitude training, the the goal is to to sleep high and train low. Um, and Big Bear is honestly the only place in the U.S. that you can really do that. In, in Europe, they go to Tenerife, um, and and here the only Big Bear you can train at at sea level. Redlands is a 40-minute drive where you can just coast two hours down there, and you're you're in the you're in Redlands, which is you know famous for its own races and great riding down there. Um, and you can drive back up and sleep at high altitude and get all that the adaptation, get your get your lungs efficient, whatever goes on in the body when you stay at altitude. It, it happens perfectly here.